Well, hello. Today I wanted to do my first impressions of the Platinum Procyon. This is a newer entry to the Platinum line, and one which has me excited, in part because of my interest in astronomy, Procyon is a star, and partly because the model just looks very interesting with some very funky, fun colors. Uh, I was going to do an ink to match the funky, fun color of the pen, but then I found one that contrasts, I think, very nicely with the funky, fun color of the pen. So we'll find out. So let's unbox it and see how it writes. So it comes with a cardboard sleeve, Whoop. cardboard box, Procyon Persimmon Orange. Comes with a few cartridges and what looks like an instruction manual. Uh, these are colors, I don't know what the one is, it's loose. I'm going to guess a black, but anyway, these are colors. I don't know if they typically sell these colors. Maybe Platinum is looking at, oh, mixable inks. Oh, mixable. Okay, guy, I got to open that, see what that is. But what about the pen, man? What about the pen? We'll get to that. Okay. Mixable ink special color. So apparently these are... part of their line of mixable inks, and these are new colors, so that's exciting, I suppose. I've never done ink mixing except once in my life, so I have no idea what to expect. And some instructions for just about every pen they have. Hard foam, and then the pen is in a nice little baggie with a thingy. Metal pen, I... I guess I did know that. I'd forgotten it was metal. I was expecting plastic when I pulled that off, so that was a surprise. thing I don't like with metal is it's colder, and it's been sitting in this cold basement, so yay. Oh, no, that's a screw cap. Good. It's a plastic grip. I like that. The nib... Okay, doesn't that remind you of a Lamy nib? But the feed is supposed to be kind of cool, where it actually fills right there in that hole in the feed so you can get that last drop of ink. Uh, so I'm hoping, although I'm pretty sure, no, nope, I figured. I actually read that it does not come with a converter, which disappointed me. But I came prepared. Platinum uses a proprietary converter. But before I uh, fill it up, let's just uh, admire the pen in all of its glory and take a glamour shot for the for the um, thumbnail all right so uh, got Procyon written there nowhere else do I see oh there is some branding platinum made in Japan nothing on the finial Nothing on the finial. So the clip. Fairly plain. Has a little design to it. Nothing special. Uh, the nib perhaps reminds me a bit of like a plat... I don't know what it reminds me of, honestly. That's one of those things to research when I do the final video. And you've seen this before. So let's ink it up. Now, I was given this bottle. Um, I've been saving it for just the right pen and special occasion, and when this arrived, I thought, that's the one. This is Bungu Box Sweet Potato Purple. I have been waiting to use this ink in something. Um, I won't show you the price tag that they accidentally left on it, because you're not supposed to leave them on when you do a gift, but anyway... So this is Sweet Potato Purple, which is in that horrible Sailor bottle. But, you know what? Now that I think about it, it's maybe I should have picked a Sailor bottle I had that was almost empty because the good thing about this is it's going to be able to fill from this fairly easily because uh, it can fill out of an almost empty bottle of ink. That's by design. So. This, the Platinum may have con 
created a pen that gets along with those horrible sailor bottles. And what the relationship is between sailor and bungle box, I do not know. Because I don't care a whole lot either. There, close enough. I want to write. Dog got it. Uh, I will say I like this funky color. This persimmon orange is very pretty. I, I was torn between this and the yellow one. And I know normally I'm a slim black pen kind of guy, but if, if I'm going to get a Procyon, I want a nice bright color. Not something dingy and boring. All right, so uh, for the writing sample, the ink I'm using, as I said, is Bungle Box. Sweet Potato Purple. Which, uh, they must come in purple. Because that doesn't look like any sweet potato I've ever grown. Uh, the, uh, I just think, the, as far as flex, I am told that the nib is not a flex nib, but it has some line variation. I wouldn't want to push it too far, but I would agree we've got some line variation there. Wetness and flow. Can I just pause and say how much I like the color of that ink? Yeah. Uh, the smear test. With this cold I'm getting over, I can't tell if the sink has the nice sailor smell. But pretty wet. Let's try some reverse writing. Very smooth. Very nice, actually. And finally, the Pierre Gustafson test. A little bit of feedback to this nib, which is a typical platinum thing. I'm actually quite pleased with it. No pressure, much pressure as I'll give it. No pressure, much as I'll give it. So, yeah, a little line variation. So I am very pleased with this pen, I will just say. Of course, keep in mind that this is just my first impression of the fountain pen. Uh, I always like to do at least two full fills on a pen before I'll do a review. Uh, so my opinions and impressions may change, but right now they are really good, except for the, why didn't you include a converter? Although they included ink. But yeah, I like a converter because then I can use my inks, but I look forward to trying out those platinum colors and just seeing what I can do with them. Probably won't try mixing because I'm just not into that kind of thing. But uh, anyway, I hope this was useful, hope it was interesting. And if you would like to comment on the Platinum Procyon, and perhaps where you feel that it fits in with their line among the Platinum Cool and uh, some of those other Platinum pens, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And maybe you've had experience with this pen. So I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.